What's up everybody, this is Mechanizer 8 here, and welcome to my brand new video. And today's video is going to be something a little bit different from what I normally do on this channel. So I wanted to talk about this argument that's been going on on Reddit about the Spyro News channels, more so targeted at my good friends That Canadian Guy A, Josh Gaming, and Jordan Fringe to name a few. One of those arguments has been that, oh, they're only doing this to get attention. It couldn't possibly be that they're passionate about Spyro. So allow me to debunk that argument right here and right now. It is not for attention. Let me stomp that right here. The reason why they make Spyro News videos is because they're passionate about the Spyro games. They're passionate for the Reignited Trilogy. They really want to show people, hey, look at this. This is cool. And then they're going to show it to their subscribers and the subscribers will be like, oh, that's cool. I like Spyro. Or maybe they didn't even know Reignited was happening. Not everybody has social media. So then they'll share it with their friends and their friends. A lot of stuff that we find is on Twitter. So not many people, well, a lot of people have Twitter, but not everyone has Twitter. And sometimes there's people that we've encountered that never even knew Spyro was getting a remaster. So to say to them that you're only doing this to get attention is like saying Cyreed who's making Spyro Myth Awakens is only doing it for attention because of the fact that it's a Spyro thing and other people are making fan games too. I mean, how, how is that fair, you know? I can already guarantee that Cyreed is very passionate about the Spyro games, hence why he's trying to make Myth Awakens as close to the PS1 versions that he loved as possible. Another annoying complaint that I've seen is people saying, oh, like Jordan Fringe has been putting out three videos a day of Spyro news. Oh my gosh, it is so annoying. Okay, if it's so annoying to you, then why are, why are you subscribed or why are you watching him? I mean, if you don't like it, then just don't watch him. It's not that hard or just get over it. And to be fair, I used to do the same thing when I did Spyro news. So I don't see why people are getting mad at them. You know, it's kind of just like, how, how does this work? You know, how dare a YouTuber upload videos? It shouldn't matter how many videos a YouTuber uploads daily. The fact of the matter is that if you don't like a YouTuber, then don't watch them. It, it's plain and simple. Stop complaining about them and get over it. The other thing too is when people complain about how, oh, all they do is make Spyro content. Actually, no, if, if you go to their channels and look at them, you know, with your eyes open, you'll see that they have more than just Spyro videos. Are their Spyro videos very popular? Yes, they are very popular, but they also do other stuff like Pokemon and recently Josh and that Canadian guy a did the Crew 2 beta, so you can't say that's all they're doing, and plus, all I do is Spyro content on this channel, so how does this work? Now hey, don't get me wrong, there are a ton of really, really nice and cool people in the Spyro Reddit. There are just some who have said some really rude things about my friends, and yes, the admins have it have reprimanded them for the things that they've said towards them and have deleted their posts. So believe me when I say this, this is not a, an attack on the Reddit. I'm just pointing out the fact that some questions have been asked. I wanted to answer some of those questions and yeah, that was kind of the whole point of this video. So with that said, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this, please be sure to flame that like and subscribe button, share this video with a friend and fly on over to that notification bell. And since we have Jordan, Josh, and that Canadian guy eh, whose links in the description will be, they'll be in the description below low, they have a bunch of Spyro news and they're covering it almost every day when it happens. So, instead of me doing the Spyro news, I'm probably just gonna stick to doing the Spyro discussions and Spyro music song video things. And yeah, there's a lot about the Spyro lore that I thought would be really cool to talk about, especially beyond Reignite Trilogy if they do continue with it. So yes, with this said, that's all I have for this video. I'm Mechanizer8, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless.